And welcome to Wayne County Now. Today is Saturday, May the 18th, 2024. I'm Dustin Fuller reporting. A reminder, these and stories that are in this newscast are available at our website, mywaynecountynow.com. Let's dive in. The Wayne City School Board met for their May session that took place Thursday evening in Wayne City. The board approved several consent agenda items, including minutes from the April meeting, eliminating closed session minutes from November of 2022. The FFA trip to the state convention in June, working with the Wayne County officials at the sheriff's office to establish a school resource officer program as well. Board acted on the following personnel items. Sarah Childers to be hired as an elementary teacher to fill a fifth grade vacancy. The board approved the voluntary transfer of the position of Derek Mays to high school science and Chris Drone to junior high science. The administrative contract of Stephen Ellis as junior high high school principal was renewed. In other action, the board approved the consolidated district plan. Action was also taken to set the time in conjunction with the June Board of Education meeting for a public hearing on the amended budget. The district has annually approved amended budgets at the end of the fiscal year to have an accurate financial picture and to be able to plan for the next fiscal year. Press Policy 115 was updated and approved. A new copier lease program with GFI was given approval for the copier in the main office at the school. Grades K-4 through four will have a new reading curriculum for the upcoming school year. The board approved the adoption of the HMH into reading curriculum. All student fees, with the exception of graduation fees for caps and gowns, were waived for the upcoming school year. Adult breakfast and lunch prices were increased to meet state requirements as well. Adult breakfast will be $225, while adult lunch will be $375. Approval was given for the installation of a new server and partial computer upgrade. Finally, the board gave approval for the application of the School Violence Prevention Program grant, which requires a 25% cost share. The next regularly scheduled board meeting is Thursday, June 20th at 6 p.m., at the Administrative Conference Room in Wayne City. Wayne City High School is preparing for commencement exercises to take place this weekend. Currently, they are scheduled for Sunday. 34 seniors will be graduating in the class of 2024 from Wayne City High School. We have a list of those graduates with this story at mywaynecountynow.com. Graduation for high school seniors will take place at 2 p.m. Junior high students will graduate at 3.30 in the afternoon. Honor roll for New Hope School has been released for the fourth quarter. 107 students made the high honor roll with an additional eight making honor roll. The list of students with the honor roll are with this story at mywaynecountynow.com. A Lawrenceville, Illinois man was taken into custody in Wayne County at the sheriff's office on several warrants that date back to 2021. At 4.15 p.m. on Thursday, 34-year-old Dalton James Spicer was booked into the Wayne County Jail. Warrants were issued in February of this year involving failure to appear counts on theft, battery, two counts of unlawful use of or possession of a weapon by a felon, and possession of methamphetamine. Spicer was booked into the Wayne County Jail without bond. He's scheduled to make a court appearance on May 30th. Wayne County Sheriff's Department has called in or was called, make that, to a crash involving a semi and a guardrail in the construction zone on Illinois Highway 15 on Thursday in Leach Township. At 7.30 in the morning, a 2023 International Cab, operated by 42-year-old Stephen E. Mark of Mount Carmel, was hauling a trailer through the construction zone when he struck guardrail. Both the guardrail and the cab sustained damage. The cab had to be towed from the scene. Truck was owned by Sternberg ID Lease of Evansville, Indiana. Over $1,500 damage was reported to the truck. Wake County Sheriff's officials have announced the newest correctional officer to join their staff. Donovan Lee recently graduated from the St. Clair County Correctional Academy at Southwestern Illinois College in Belleville. Officer Lee graduated top five of his class and missed top three by only one question. Congratulations to Donovan Lee and welcome to Wayne County. There are several community calendar notes on the agenda today. Community calendar check presented by our friends at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield, Southern Illinois' fashion leader. Starting at 8 this morning, there will be a car show taking place at Leo French Park out being put on by the Fairfield Lions Club. To enter a car, it's $15. There will be concessions, a silent auction, 50-50 raffle, and much more. 
Registration runs through noon today. Judging begins at 10. There will be dash plaques for the first 125 participants, plus several awards will be handed down. Awards will be handed down around 3 this afternoon. At 9 this morning, Hope Ministries of Jeff will hold their bi-monthly distribution. Lineup will begin at 9 this morning at Jeff Grade School. Officials ask that you line up at the school, register with officials, and relax while they load your vehicle. The food distribution at Hope Ministries of Jeff runs through 11 this morning. Beginning at 10, there will be a pork burger brought and bake sale to help benefit the family of Hayden Kisson. Hayden has been in the hospital fighting HSP. Items will be available at that bake sale as well as brought and pork burger sale until they are sold out. It will be at the Wayne County Courthouse. At 10.30 this morning, the 30th Annual Family Literacy Fest takes place at Fairfield Kitty College. There will be games, inflatables, arts and crafts, prizes for all of the kids, and much more. There will be a police car, fire truck, and ambulance on hand. Sonic the Hedgehog and Elmo will also be on hand for a meet and greet with kids as well. That's all taking place at Kitty College in Fairfield. Tomorrow, the Fairfield Community High School Student Council will be hosting a spaghetti dinner fundraiser at Cornerstone Community Church. That fundraiser gets underway at 11.30 and runs until 2 p.m. Spaghetti, bread, and salad are on the menu. The cost is by donation. Funds are slated to help the FCHS Student Council attend the National Student Council Convention in New Mexico. If you have a community calendar note you want to send to us, you can submit it one of three ways. You can go to our website on the community calendar submission form at mywaynecountynow.com. Shoot a, shoot a message to us on Facebook, or you can email news at mywaynecountynow.com, and we'll get that for you as well. We'll take a look at the weather forecast coming up in just a few moments. Also, we'll take a look at area obituaries as well. This is Wayne County Now. Dive into summer with the latest styles at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. From top to bottom, Carnaby Square has everything you need to embrace the season in style with brands like Charlie B., Multiples, Jess and Jane, Lucky Bird, and Tribal in sizes from small to extra, extra large. Plus, Carnaby Square carries the largest selection of Brighton purses, jewelry, and accessories around. Carnaby Square, the fashion leader in Southern Illinois, located at 115 East Main Street in Fairfield, making you look great since 1980. When you need concrete or masonry work, New Gen Concrete is your go-to in Wayne County and the surrounding area. They can help you finish that concrete project with anything from flat work, stairs and stem walls, to decorative stamping and masonry resurfacing. New Gen Concrete, set in stone on Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Call 618-516-5002 or email them at LLC at yahoo.com to get on the schedule today. When describing traditional products like checking or savings accounts, many banks use the word personal banking. At FNB Community Bank, they focus on the personal side of that term. How? By always applying personal attention, by always delivering with personal care, and by treating you like a person, not an account. FNB Community Bank. Banking. Business. Life. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Welcome back. Time now for a look at weather. Remember earlier in the week, if you were paying attention to the weather, we were talking about plenty of rain in store for this weekend. Well, Mother Nature has changed her mind. She's heard your petitions, and she's delivering sunshine today. Mostly sunny skies in store for this weekend. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. Expect highs today. Mostly sunny, 82. Tonight, mostly clear. The low of 62. Sunshine for your Sunday. A bit warm. High of 87. You might want to get that pool ready because it's coming up on that time of year already. Memorial Day weekend is a weekend away. It's hard to believe Memorial Day weekend next weekend. Where has 2024 gone? We're almost to summer. It's a real question. Looking at Sunday evening, mostly clear sky, 64 the low. Mostly sunny on Monday, high of 87. But showers creep back into the forecast from Monday evening, partly cloudy. Low 68. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, showers, thunderstorms potentially in the forecast. Highs in the upper 80s to near 90. For most of those days, lows in the low to mid 60s on those days as well. It's been a look at the weather forecast. We'll take a look at aerial obituaries coming up in just a few moments. This is Wayne County Now. 
When Justin, a local volunteer firefighter, needs one of the department's trucks serviced, he calls CAM, whose repair company keeps everything rolling. In turn, Justin helps keep CAM and all of the community safe. Together, they support each other. And Wayne White Electric Cooperative supports them and every member with safe and reliable power. It's why REMCs exist. And together, it all works. The loss of a loved one can leave you with a lot of unanswered questions, feelings of stress and anxiety, and grief. The experienced funeral directors at Johnson & Vaughan Funeral Home in Fairfield can help guide you through all aspects of the funeral process to provide you with a beautiful, lasting tribute to your loved one. Call them at 618-842-6006. The Johnson & Vaughan Funeral Home, 106 Northeast 4th Street in Fairfield, serving the Wayne County area with compassion, dignity, and respect. Time now for a look at obituary information presented by the Johnson Vaughn Funeral Home, 106 Northeast 4th Street in Fairfield, and by Everlasting Florals, 900 West Delaware Street in Fairfield. 97-year-old Robert N. Bob Simpson of Fairfield passed away at 4.25 p.m. on Thursday at Fairfield Memorial Hospital Skilled Care Unit. He was born August 10th of 1926 in Wayne County, the ninth of 12 children to Miles and Lulu Wright Simpson. Bob married the love of his life, Maxine Maddox Simpson, on April 21st of 1957 in Richland Church on a beautiful Easter Sunday. He was a veteran of the U.S. Army, serving from 1953 to 1955. After his return from the U.S. Army, he began working for the U.S. Postal Service as a postal clerk, first in St. Louis, then in Fairfield. He retired after 32 years of service. Bob loved working outside in his yard in his flower and vegetable gardens as well. He won Fairfield's Yard of the Month several times. He and Maxine liked to quilt together. They made quite a few quilts before she passed away in 2003. After her passing, Bob continued quilting, making his children, grandchildren, beautiful quilts as well. Survivors include five sons, Kevin, a wife, Cynthia Simpson of Fairfield, Brian and wife, Kimberly Simpson of Camp Point, Illinois, John and wife, Teresa Simpson, and Lindy and husband Debbie, or wife Debbie, excuse me, wife Debbie Simpson, also of Fairfield, as well as Chris and wife Michelle Simpson of Olney. Two daughters, Lisa and husband Clay Simpson of Fairfield, and Leanne and husband Jim Alberta of Cunningham, Tennessee. 17 grandchildren, 11 great-grandchildren, a brother, Will, or Willard Bill Simpson of Franklin Grove, Illinois, two sisters-in-law, Marjorie Simpson of Fairfield and Cynthia Talbert of Johnsonville, along with several nieces and nephews. He was preceded to death by his parents, his wife Maxine, three sisters, Ruby Vanway, Mary Rose Johnson and Anna Lou Taylor, seven brothers as well, including Bert, Harold, Charles, Orion Pug, Vern, Lindy, and Elias Simpson. Funeral services for Bob Simpson will be at 1 p.m. Tuesday, at the Johnson & Bond Funeral Home in Fairfield, burial will follow in Richland Cemetery. Visitation will be from 11 a.m. till service time at the funeral home. Memorial donations may be made to Fairfield Memorial Hospital Foundation for a special project for the skilled care unit. Donations will be accepted at the Johnson & Bond Funeral Home, who is in charge of arrangements. 74-year-old Charles Ray Chuck Barnett of Wayne City passed away at 6.27 p.m. on Sunday at his home. He was born... On October 6th of 1949 in Mount Vernon, Illinois, to Berlin and Juanita Harrison Barnett. He had worked for the village of Wayne City for 18 years. Chuck had previously served on the Wayne City Fire and Ambulance Service Boards as well as the Wayne County Board. He was a member of the Wayne City Baptist Church and had been a Mason for 47 years. Chuck is survived by his daughter Selena and husband Chad Harrell of Crossville and Chandra and husband Robbie Drew of Blueford. Daughter-in-law, Amy Barnett of McLeansboro. Five grandchildren, Austin Barnett, Ashton, and husband Austin Dillman. Sarah Harrell, Charlie Barnett, and Rayleigh Barnett. Great-grandchild, Griffin Dillman. Brother, Brent Barnett of San Jose, California. And sister, Rita, and husband, John Bodem of Centralia. He was preceded in death by his parents, wife, Trevor Barnett, and son, Alan Barnett. Chuck will be cremated and the family will be hosting a memorial service. 
from 5 until 6 p.m. on Friday at the Archie Sanders Memorial Chapel in Wayne City. A gravesite service will follow at Thomason Cemetery. Johnson Devon Funeral Home of Fairfield is assisting the family with arrangements. We'll take a look at sports action next. This is Wayne County Now. If you're looking for supplies for memorial decorations or a memorial piece, look no further than Everlasting Florals, formerly Leg Manufacturing, at 900 West Delaware in Fairfield. Owners Chad and Melissa Musgrave offer a full line of wholesale and retail floral supplies, silk flowers for every season, and even manufacture a variety of items in-house, from wire and aluminum saddles to cemetery can holders, shepherd's hooks, and flag holders. Everlasting Florals, making the world more colorful, one stem at a time. Whatever your project might be, Gibbs Excavating and Land Management LLC has the right tool and the expertise to get the job done right. The crew at Gibbs Excavating and Land Management can handle any job from stump grinding or forestry mulching, driveway repair, concrete demo and rock work to dirt and auger work, trenching, and even garden tilling. Call 618-516-1462 or email austin at austingibbs70 at yahoo.com to schedule your free estimate today. Time now for a look at sports on Wayne County now. The Fairfield Community High School Mules tennis team saw their season come to an end at the Carbondale sectional. No one as a team or individual advanced for Fairfield. Fairfield Mules baseball vying for a regional title this morning at 11. They are at Mount Carmel to take on the Golden Aces. Around 10.55 pregame this morning on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Taking a look at action that took place in professional sports last night. Uh, on the WNBA scene on Friday, it was Connecticut over Washington, 84-77. Minnesota over Seattle, 102-93. In action today in the WNBA at 12 noon, it is the Indiana Fever at the New York Liberty. At 2 this afternoon, the L.A. Sparks visit the Las Vegas Aces. And tonight at 7 this evening, the Chicago Sky are in Dallas to take on Dallas this evening. In the NHL playoffs, it went into the wee hours of the morning. The Dallas Stars move on in the NHL playoffs as they ended up with a 2-1 win in double overtime over Colorado. So take that series four games to two. In that other series, Florida knocks off Boston two to one as they move on in the Stanley Cup playoffs as well. In action today, Vancouver visits Edmonton. The Vancouver Canucks hold a three to two lead in that series, that best of seven series. That is a seven o'clock puck drop this evening in Edmonton. Taking a look. At NBA playoff action from last night, it's going to be a Game 7 in the pacers Knicks series. It was kind of expected to be that way. Pacers at Gainbridge knock off the New York Knicks 115-116 to 103. Make that. That series tied to three games apiece. Tonight in the NBA playoffs, Oklahoma City visits Dallas. Dallas holds a 3-2 lead in that series. That is a 7 o'clock Central Time tip this evening. In Major League Baseball action, Taking a look at scores from Friday. The Pirates over the Cubs, 9-3. It was Philadelphia over Washington, 4-2. Baltimore down Seattle, 9-2. The Yankees over the White Sox, 4-2. Tampa Bay over Toronto, 4-3. Cleveland over Minnesota, 3-2. Miami shuts out the New York Mets, 8-0. San Diego downs Atlanta, 3-1. Kansas City over Oakland, 6-2. It was the LA Angels over Texas 9-3. Milwaukee falls to Houston 5-4 down at the Juice Box. Cardinals pick up a 10-6 win at Bush over the Boston Red Sox. Detroit shuts out Arizona and just takes them to the woodshed. 13-0 that final score. The LA Dodgers knock off the Reds last night 7-3 late at Chavez Ravine. And it was San Francisco over Colorado 10-5. Action today. Beginning at 12.05 this afternoon, it is the White Sox and the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. At 1.20, Pittsburgh visits the Chicago Cubs. At 2.07 this afternoon, Tampa Bay is at Toronto. 3.05, it's Seattle and Baltimore. Colorado at San Francisco. At 3.10 this afternoon, the New York Mets are at the Miami Marlins. 
at 5.05 this evening. Washington is at Philadelphia. Minnesota is at Cleveland at 5.10 p.m. At 6.10 p.m., Oakland is at Kansas City. Also at 6.10 p.m., Milwaukee is at Houston. 6.15 this evening, Boston visits St. Louis Cardinals. You can catch the Cardinals and Boston game on 105.9 FM WOKZ. Also at 6.15 this evening, the LA Angels are at Texas to take on the Rangers. San Diego is at Atlanta. At 7.10 this evening, Detroit visits Arizona. And at 8.10 this evening, the late game, Cincinnati at the LA Dodgers. That's been a look at the latest local news, weather, and sports for your Saturday. I'm Dustin Fuller saying thanks for joining us on Wayne County Now. We will see you tomorrow morning for a new edition of Wayne County Now.